welcome back to my channel. It's Signeza's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click on the bell so that you will be notified whenever I post. Today, I'm going to share with you another Filipino recipe, which is biko or sticky rice. Hi guys, so today we are starting off by washing our sticky rice four times or until the water is clear. After washing our rice, we then place it on a pot with water and then we cook it, but don't overcook the rice. So while our rice is cooking, we then proceed to removing the coconut cream from the coconut meat. Then we strain the coconut cream. Right after that, we then add warm water into our coconut meat and then we stir that up for a little bit. And then right after that, we then remove the coconut milk. And then we strain the coconut milk. And then we take just a little bit of our coconut cream and cook it and it will turn into this beautiful golden brown coconut flakes. And on that same pot, we add our coconut milk and we just let that boil for a little bit. And right after that, we add our sugar. So after adding the sugar, we make sure it dissolves properly and then we add our cinnamon. If you look up other recipes of Biko, normally they don't add cinnamon, but then we wanted to make something unique and so we added cinnamon and it was truly worth it because the cinnamon added so much flavor, such a beautiful aroma. And then we added a little bit more sugar and you, you can also add a little bit more sugar until you're liking. And so we let that boil and until it becomes a very thick sauce and we take up a little bit and separate it to glaze up on the top after getting a little bit to glaze up on the top we then add our sticky rice into this thick sauce and we let that boil until everything is very well incorporated After mixing everything, we then add the rest of the coconut cream. This will give it so much flavor and so we totally recommend that you do add the coconut cream. And then we just continue to stir that up, making sure everything is very well incorporated and then that's it. We can then add the glaze that we got earlier and then just spread it on the top and then we can put our coconut flakes on top for decoration and that's it guys.
good. It left me speechless, actually. It was really chewy. Mm, you can really feel the cinnamon. The cinnamon gave a lot of flavor to it. This was really simple. It was really quick. You all saw how my mom do it. If you like to try this recipe, that you should. You must try this recipe. It was, it's very good. Totally recommend. Yeah. Try this and tag my mom so that she sees and knows how you guys reacted on this recipe. So if you want to try it, try it. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you guys be alerted whenever my mom posts. Bye!